The next match up here at Birthday Bash 19 is for the Junior Heavyweight Champion. The brand new WWCA owner, Arian Vincent, 18 years old today, taking over due to unforeseen family circumstances. Assumes control of the company today, but he is also the defending junior heavyweight champion. And he faces one of his greatest nemesis, Sergeant Muldoon, who believes that at 18, Vincent's not only not ready to be in the ring, but he also doesn't belong being owner of the company. Let's head down to the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. Sergeant Muldoon, a patrolman out of the state of Georgia. <clears throat> former patrolman came to the WWCA to get law and order under control in this company and he feels it'll be even worse under the younger Vincent than it was under George Vincent And here is the champion. <clears throat> he was born the same day the WWCA was at 1.35 in the morning, 18 years ago today. And now he is the junior heavyweight champion and is in control of the company. Although he'll have plenty of advisors helping him run the business as, as the elder Vincent has disappeared since the death of his wife. This has got to be a lot of pressure under young Vincent. Let's go down to the ring for the introduction. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 173 pounds, Sergeant Mullen. Sergeant Muldoon. Introducing the champion from New York, weighing in at 157 pounds, he is the junior heavyweight champion, Aaron Vincent. Aaron Vincent, born on this day 18 years ago. Can he retain the title with all this newfound pressure on him? Or will Sergeant Muldoon commandeer the title and take it over? It should be an interesting match. Let's see what happens. And we're underway. Oh, what a drop kick right away from Vincent. Trying to show the pressure isn't going to affect him. A hanging vertical suplex. Oh, Muldoon reverses it. And he's going to hit a falling neck breaker. And we'll do him pouncing now. Side Russian leg sweep. We'll do him going for a suplex of his own and see how long he can hold Benson up there himself. Vincent blocks a hit. We'll do him escapes. Benson with a takedown. Northern Lights suplex out of Vincent. Vincent going for a pin. Oh, but Muldoon gets the ropes and is able to get out of it. Fireman's carry. What is Vincent going to do with him? He's going to drop a head first in the top turnbuckle. Unrelenting. Unrelenting. 
bringing Muldoon back in the ring. Muldoon blocks a kick. Whips Vincent to the ropes. Knee to the gut. He's going to go for a body save. No, Vincent re able to reverse it. Clubbing blow to the back of the head. Elbow smash. Muldoon reverses the whip. Vincent sidesteps the move in. Muldoon reversal after reversal out of these two junior heavyweights. Back in the corner. Vincent stumbling out as Muldoon comes off with a running bulldog. And Muldoon goes for the cover. But Vincent's able to kick out. And Muldoon taking his time to show his dominance. Another running bulldog. And now Muldoon right back to the cover. Vincent kicks out. Vincent won this title on January 19th. It is his third title reign. He took it off Sergeant Muldoon in Boise, Idaho. Wants to be known as... And Vincent in control. Close to the cover, but Muldoon is able to kick out. Muldoon, a four-time junior heavyweight champion, trying to get the title back for the fifth occasion. They tie up in the center of the ring. Muldoon pushes Vincent off. And now Vincent going for a whip, and he's got Muldoon out of the ring. Remember, champion's advantage. Muldoon has to win by pinfall or submission. Vincent setting up for a DDT on the apron. That is a vicious move as Vincent now follows Muldoon to the floor. Oh, Muldoon reversing a slam. And Muldoon gets back in the ring. That's where he wants it. He wants to win the title. Vincent going for a... Oh, picking up powerbomb. A powerbomb suplex. Vincent into a bridge. Two, but Muldoon kicks out. Vincent waiting. Marking his move. What's he set up for? A cartwheel backflip kick. Could he be setting up for the 450 splash? No, he's going to go for the cover. One, two, and three. And Vincent retains the junior heavyweight title. What a hard fought victory for Arian Vincent as he remains the champion as he takes control of the company today. One wonders how long he can manage both the championship reign and uh, his newfound job as he hasn't even graduated high school yet. Vincent showing the power that got him the championship back in January. This is pretty much easily dispatching them will do. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more matches here at Birthday Bash 19 as part of the WWCA Fortune Arrow.